England under James I was a country gripped by superstition and paranoia. In 1613, Beaver Castle in Leicestershire would become the setting for a notorious witchcraft case involving one of the foremost aristocrats of the day, Francis Manners, Earl of Rutland. The Manners family were really well connected. They were great favourites of King James I. Um, they would often entertain him at Beaver. He would come there and go hunting and have great banquets and the rest of it. They also pretended at least to share his passion for witch hunting. And that became a really significant fact in what happened next. One of the Earl's servants at Beaver Castle was Margaret Flower. When she was sacked for stealing, her mother Joan cursed the Manners family. Soon after Margaret's dismissal, tragedy befalls Beaver Castle as the Earl's son and heir, Henry, is stricken by a mysterious illness. Despite all efforts to save him, the boy dies in September 1613. When the Earl's other son and heir dies of a similar illness, Joan Flower and her two daughters are arrested on suspicion of being witches. Joan Flower asks for trial by bread. A loaf is blessed, and if she can eat it without her body rejecting the consecrated bread, it would prove her innocence. But after one mouthful, she falls down dead. Margaret and her sister Philippa deny being witches, but after five weeks of examination, they finally confess they admit to casting a spell on the Manners family with their mother. And on March the 11th, 1619, the two young women were hanged as witches. Margaret and Philippa Flower were hastily buried in an unmarked grave at Lincoln Castle. In stark contrast, their alleged victims, the Manners brothers, were buried here at St Mary's in Bottisford. The tomb's inscription that they were done to death by wicked practice and sorcery is the only reference to witchcraft in an English church. Paul Bradshaw, BBC East Midlands Today.